Barbara's Beauty Bag. Well, actually, she did a video. It's called Before I Press Record. And she asked me to do it. And so I said I would. And this is about how you set up your stuff before you do your videos. So I usually do do my videos in the mornings or late at night when I come home from work. And so um, I've never showed how I've set it up or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and start that for you guys now. I just woke up and I was watching Gracie Lou, Barbara, and who else was I watching this morning? Um, Jovena Love. I catch up on some videos and some comments from my own when I wake up and drink my coffee. I have a slight headache this morning, so I took my ibuprofen, brushed my teeth, and washed my face. Because it doesn't matter how I take off my makeup. I'll take it off, take it off, because um, I wear a lot. <laughs> um, maybe you don't, you won't think I wear a lot when you see my vid my video this morning. But, anyways, I. I did that and, um, you know, drank coffee, brushed my teeth, and washed the rest of the excess off my face from yesterday. And so now I'm going to show you how I... So I'm going to show you, this is my beauty room. And it is a little bit of a mess. I do clean it up constantly. There's like my boxes for my declutter and another one is going to be some Christmas gifts. My declutter is going to DJ Queen because he told me to, he said, send me all your shit. <laughs> so <laughs> I told him I'm sending him a card. He goes, you know what? Just go ahead and send me all your shit. I said, all right. So this is, um, okay. I do need to declutter. And believe it or not, it looks like I have a lot and I, and I do. Uh, this is my Scentsy stuff. I sell this on Facebook. That's just, uh comparison products um anyways so um it is it is quite a lot even though i already have decluttered this is what i call my play table this is where my eyeliners and my significant stuff is like stuff that i definitely most likely will use during the video and and night cream skincare stuff like that uh, those are alternative brushes in case mine are too dirty there's my mirror. I use that every time. I use this a lot. There's where I put my... That's the other light. That's where I put my phone when I'm recording. And um, I use that light once in a while. I have another one. It's behind that door. So it has two doors. Um, so let's get started, we shall we? And in the meantime, I have hooked up my microphone. I hook it up on my device and then I put it on my mirror because it's closest to me and I, I kind of check it to make sure it's going because it doesn't always like to work so I'm going to put my hair out my face all I did was brush it and it's kind of I washed them last night so they're kind of like in the way every time I wash them they're a little bit too soft and um, oh it's hot in here man like, Tracy is always freezing, and, you know, I'm kind of like the mature age. I'm always hot, if you know what I'm saying. So, the first thing I do is I like to moisturize my face. I use, and it feels really dry. And it feels, I don't have dry skin, but it feels very, um, it feels very dry just for the fact that the heat is on. And in the winter months, my, my face really does feel dry. So, I take these Velvet 59 Drops. Um, which will be on my empties one of these days. It lasts a long time, guys. So these are the chocolate drops. And I just rub it on my hands nice and warm. Oh my gosh, it feels good. And then you really just want to use two drops. If you use more, it's going to break down your foundation because it, it'll be too oily then. You just got to let it... And you got to let it kind of like... It's sunk in really fast because my face is really dry today. So then I... Just for some extra moisturizer. I put some setting spray from Slay All Day. I've got a few of these. This is my favorite one. This is the original. It's almost empty. I've got the Dream Sickle and I've got this peppermint one that is from the Rich Lux Ice Cream Shack uh, from Gerard Cosmetics. Then I take this Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch and I put that on just like a little scoop like that because it's kind of like a primer slash whatever and I rub that in I use three two normally I just use this 
and my face base from Lily Posh. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so now, mm, yeah, this is good shit. And then I take the face base from Lily Posh. I don't need a lot from this, especially because I just have two other ones on. And this is a moisturizing primer. Gosh, I'm running out of this. I need some more. This stuff is like a holy grail for a lot of people. Just a little bit. Rub it again. And this one is like an instant quencher. So whatever, anything else that you get, I know this one again. And it smells like a vanilla cupcake or something. I love it so much. And I get my neck just as much as I do my face. Because, um, you know, I'm in our age. Kind of need a lot of shit on the neck. So... Next thing I'm going to do, I'll put this damn cigarette out, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I get a mirror. I usually use this one in front of me, and I get, this is like a Morphe brush. This is not like the only brush from Morphe that I really like. Um, so I, I do have two or three other Morphe brushes, but I gave most of them away. And I take me a little glass of water. I dunk this side in it and this is the tattoo brow liner from who is it Maybelline maybe it's Maybelline and then I just kind of like rub it in there this should be enough for both eyebrows I might have to go in one more time and then I take this flat part right there and that forms that kind of squarey look that you know I have really dark eyebrows, y'all, but this makes it, this enhances it just a little more, and because it's wet, it just glides on, and I do my little strokes, and I fill it in, do the same thing on the other side, I'm trying to do it so you guys can see me at the same time. Yeah, I have to dunk it in there one more time. I used to do videos at full face, but they are too long. I noticed that people don't really care to watch the whole long videos. And honestly, I don't like to watch long videos either because it's kind of like get to the point. Then I take my spoolie and I go upwards and then I see where some spots are left out. And one eyebrow never looks like the other. So I'm going to let that dry and put this away. And this is also on my play table. This stuff, I have like a box on the play table. You might have seen a minute ago. Those are all eyeliners, felt tip eyeliners and stuff like that. Uh, brow stuff. Okay, then I got this. Uh, this Easy Breezy Brow from CoverGirl. It's tiny. It's clear. I used to use, and it works now, for me it worked, I used to use gel, like from hair gel, and that would go pretty good. And I just kind of scoop down on the sides, so that's only like spiky up front. And that dries. Okay. How are you? And so... Then I'm going to go on with the foundation. And ooh, I don't want to go heavy today, so I'm going to use, um, I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix it a little bit of Believe Foundation. This is $5 at the Dollar General. And the Juvia's Place Magic Foundation. Just a drop. See, just those two drops. I'm also going to put in, where is it? Um, this is the CFX, uh, the cover FX highlighting drops. I believe this one's called Moonlight. Just one drop in there, and I'm going to mix it together. And I'm going to brush it on my face. And I don't know what brush this is, it's just a random one. I'm going to mix them like this. That one drop of uh, whatchamacallit. So, and I don't need much. See, like. Now the Juvia's Plays online, it's cheaper, 
it costs about $20 in the store. A lot of stuff, if you go to Ulta, is way more expensive than in the store. Like, the Juvia's Place, uh, the Zulu palette is $20 in the store. It's $10 online. Even with the shipping, the shipping is, um, I think I got two of them, and I paid for, I paid $27 for two of them with shipping and all. So, around the brow, I try to just get the brow cut. Don't forget your nose. And another thing I do before I go on camera, you know, I'm guilty. Sometimes I forget it. Is to make sure I ain't got no boogers in there. So I do go to my neck. My neck is always lighter than my face because my face has rednesses. And I kind of like stipple and brush it at the same time so it goes into my skin. I go really lightly around the eyes, first off, because they are sensitive and they will wrinkle fast. And I've got enough as it is. I take the rest of it. See, and all I needed for my whole face is two drops. I'm not a person for setting powder, but I am going to... Um, I did get one. I got one from Lily Posh. And this is so good. I also got the brush from her. So I do that, and then I pick it up now. I'll get to that in a minute. So the next phase is I'll do some contour, and I use her brush for that. Um, and then I take my Park Avenue Princess. This has been something I've been using for almost a year now because it's just so good. So I use the darkest color first, just a little bit, and I like to apply it down my nose. It looks really extreme, and I will fix that later. Okay, so I'm going to take what's left, and I go on my cheekbones, like that, and then I like just dab it around the forehead, because I don't want it to look dirty. Um, this is a really good formula. I like it, and then I kind of like speak. I got a long chin, and I like to put some around here because it's where you can see that my skin is not that elastic anymore. Let me get some more contour right here. I really, sh I think I shouldn't contour because of the fact that my I have extreme cheekbones, and um, it accentuates it a little bit more. And so, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I'm going to spray it a little bit, and then I'm just going to kind of like blend that in so it's not as dark as it was a minute ago. I don't mind if my contour goes all the way up to my eyebrows. I actually like that. Okay, so the next step is uh, blush, and I'll put on my blush before I do my makeup, and I'll do it after I do my makeup, and I'm using the Profusion. I like this one. And I also like the Dulce. Dulce, that one. Actually, this one has a really pinkish, pretty color. And I used the Lily Posh one. Uh, but today we are using this one. And I just kind of put it on my cheeks and sweep it up. I sweep it into a little bit with the contour on my nose. And then I just kind of like a little bit of it everywhere else so I'm um, I do put on my highlighter after I do everything else and I don't do my lips I do my lips very very last like that's the last thing I do so that is how I do my setup and then um, I'm going to finish this up with some lipstick I'm not sure which one but I'll let you know in a second and I'm going to use the Royal Beauty Christie palette because I just got it and I've only used it once because it's like, bitch, use the shit you buy, you know? <laughs> and so, and it's pretty. Um, it's got blues and golds in it and I, you know, y'all know I like that shit. So anyways, I'll hit you back up in just a second with the finished look. look. Without the lipstick though, I used the Royal Beauty Christie palette, but to cut my crease, I used, um... Shit, I can't get it out of here. It's, uh, oh, I can't. I need a Z palette. 
Um, this is from Lily Posh Purple Haze. So I used like uh, the blue, the green, cut my crease. And so I have allergies in my eyes. So I can't really wear something on my waterline right now. And um, I also use the sugar babies on my brown bones. That's where that glitter is coming from. So now we're going to do the loops. Um, I'm going to use this Bodyography. I done used the crap out of this. I want to go on a light. Hang on, let me moisturize my lips first. Let me just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I want to eat it. This is another one from Lily Posh. This is just a clear shine. It's really pretty. I think I might have moisturized them a little too much because now my lip liner doesn't want to come out. Okay, let me just rub this off. And there's still moisturizer on it. I need to get a sharpener because the sharpener I have doesn't sharpen with shit. Okay, so I wish I could show this to you. I, I hope I tried using my camera camera instead of my phone not too long ago, but I think that it's just uh, it doesn't show. It's not sharp enough. This is sharper. Um, I'm I'm really trying to find a way because <clears throat> I don't want to do videos with filters. I just want to show you the real deal, and that's kind of like. What I'm getting, I'm going to put a little bit of setting powder on before I put on my, oh, that's the wrong thing. I was fixing to put a uh, loose highlighter on my face. So this is the brush I got from Lily Posh for the setting powder. And I'm just going to sweep it a little bit right there. Just a little bit. Hopefully it'll catch them tears. <sighs> and just a little bit, you know, just, just a little. I don't really have shiny skin, so I don't need. I don't really care to bake either. Baking is the worst thing you can do for your skin. Um, and people will argue over it. They just want to look good. I understand it. But it's bad for your fucking skin. So I'm going to take some setting powder again. Mm. Let me put, let me fill in these lips. Oh, actually, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to do the highlighter before I put on my lips because I like it on my lips. This is comparable. This is from Lily Posh. This is Majesty. And it's comparable to the Jaclyn Hill. If you need like a comparison. Like the loose highlighter from Jaclyn Hill. Which I love so much. But I like this too. And I put it pretty on. I put it on pretty heavy and pretty direct. So let me. Just dip it in there. Look up just that little bit. So, bitch, tell me that, that ain't no fucking shine. Don't need a lot. You really, really don't. Let me spray some setting spray just a little. Mm, sickening. Sickening! And now I'm going to put on the lips. Um, I'm going to use the I Love You So Much from Hank and Henry. This is the collaboration with Rich Lux. And he did send it to me. And from the smells, there's a lot of uh, lip glosses and lipsticks that I have that smell good. This one is really literally the best smelling one out there. And that's it. That's it for my setup and the final look. And any questions about anything else, please comment in the comment box. I tag anybody who wants to do this. Uh, show how you set up your videos before you do your look. It gives us a little insight. You know what? I'm going to tag one specific person, actually two, that I really want to know how they set up their stuff before they do their, their looks. And that is Becca's Beauty Journey. Y'all go check her out. She's she's a cool chick. Um, and she's very professional about her products and stuff. Um, I'm also going to tag Glam Goat. Because Glam Goat goes in depth about her products as she uses them. As she tells you about them. She knows. Like, I'm, I always sit there and say, I got this in the box. And blah, 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 blah. 
you know, and she, she does like all that detailed stuff. So I'm going to tag those two ladies and, um, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.